What a wonderful thing it is to be f No. No, no. Well, I mean... Stop dragging my... Stop dragging my... We're off to get the trailer, then off to get the truck. We're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked! What a wonderful thing it is to be fucked! Wait, no. No, no. Well, I mean, maybe, I guess. Depending upon the context of the word. But not in this song! We're actually fucked, probably. Actually. My brother-in-law doesn't trust me to get the trailer out of his, uh out of this fandangled drive words without fucking his bridge up. Ha! <laughs> Dude, I fucking... I went about 4,000 miles with a fucking... this fucker, this Suburban, behind a 12-foot U-Haul trailer. Over the mountains and through the hills, I think we'll be alright. I think I can probably get across this bridge. Oh, you gotta swing wide. Gee, you think? You think I gotta swing wide here, coming out of there? My biggest concern would be, when's the last time you got that bridge inspected since it's about 18 years old? What happened? Yeah, I'll park right there. Yeah, I'll swing wide. I'll see how you're talking about going out. You got it here. Yes. No, just, ain't no problem. Keep you out. You got it, brother. Yes, sir. All right, we're off. We are off with the big son of a bitch and trailer. How you doing? Did it, boys? We did it! We drove through the woods on, with the trailer! With the dry words! We did? Oh, that's a tight squeeze with the trailer. How you doing? Just fucking destroying my grass with all this driving through it. Well, this is really when I need a buddy. I need a buddy to help me get this truck. It'd be so much easier with two people. What are the chances there's another low-life loser like Mutton Chop close to me? That's not going to work. Not gonna work at all. I'm gonna drive through my fucking fence for fuck's sakes. I'm totally out of gas. So maybe we'll make it to town. I'm getting terrible gas mileage pulling this trailer. I'm probably getting about seven miles per gallon right now. As bad as the wind is. At 94 S10 that my son blew the engine in. I got a call from my father-in-law one time and uh, they had broke down. So uh, we go over there and he wants me to tow him Ford F-350, big old diesel dually. So I was like, all right, we'll try it. And I'd be goddamned if that little fucking four-cylinder S-10 didn't tow that F-350 dually every bit of the distance to the, my brother-in-law's barn I was pretty impressed I mean don't get me wrong it was all she could fucking do to do it and I don't I'm not sure I well I think I got out of first once or twice yeah pretty impressive so I guess if that little 94 s10 can pull that much weight this suburban 1500 ought to be able to tow a fucking I don't even think there's a 20 foot 16 foot trailer 
and the 2002 S10, yeah, it ought to be able to tow that probably. I ain't going far, going two or three miles. I mean, really, hopefully what will happen is the Suburban will break down too, and then I'll have four broke down cars. And then I'll have no choice but to bring all four of them to the dealership and be like, okay, I know you're going to give me about $700 total for all four of these, so go ahead and put that towards my down payment, which is all you're going to get from this new car I'm about to buy. What happened? And then we ought to be able to drive it for at least six months before they repo it. I love being 40 with a broke back and completely unhirable. It's fucking awesome. But apparently not qualifying for disability, which I don't fucking want anyway. I just want to work. I can drive a forklift, you cocksucks. Pay me 20 bucks an hour, I'll drive a forklift. I ain't gonna do it for 11. How many times y'all heard this gripe? It ain't gonna stop. Might as well tune out. As long as I feel like I got something to contribute, I'm pretty pissed that nobody will fucking allow me to do so. Oh yeah, we are just, we are just all over the place like a fucker with this wind and this trailer. How you doing? So, uh, I just ran a red light like a fucker. How you doing? Wow. Um, oh, there's not a cop. Oh, there's a cop in the convenience store. How you doing? All right. We are fueled up and on our way behind the slowest minivan in Georgia, apparently. How you doing? Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing how to best cock over mutton chop. Oh good, maybe we'll catch this light. Since I can't stop now anyway. Yay! Hoorah, hooray, and also one time yay. So long, farewell, we thank you much for playing. Now get the fuck out of my way is what I'm saying. What? So long, farewell, I own a broken car lot. Come on, come down, come look for shit and have a shop. Oh good, there's a giant truck right where I was going to park. It's awesome. That's awesome! Whee! Can we drive all the way around? If we can drive all the way around, we're in business. Yeah, let me just turn around now and drive back through the other way. and the wheel falls off. Oh, it is definitely something dickered. Big time. Big time dickered. Oh, of course. I'm glad we planned that out. Shit, bro, my 
big coat, holy. Come on, fucker. I should have done you higher. You fucking bastard. Yeah, this would be way quicker with two people, and I wouldn't be near as cold right now, slash sweaty. Cold slash sweaty, which happens to be my favorite. Come on, fucker. I know you weigh 600 pounds, but just fucking work with me here. Holy. Figured out that I don't have a clue what I'm doing yet. Ah. It'll be great, except that it's not tight. God damn it. This is fucking awesome. I can't believe I couldn't find the other fucking fucking dog. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't believe I'm quite comfortable with that. Pushing her now. This is probably the most she's ever towed. I'm like a real boy. We broke one seam. How you doing? I got some dragon straps. I just about had a heart attack coming down that big hill there. I thought to myself, I'm like, just hauling ass, just about to stop like I normally would with any other trailer, because I know all my shit's tied down. But I don't normally tire a tower too heavy. I don't normally tow around fucking trucks, right? And I only got one, uh, I thought it was called a come along. My brother-in-law calls it a bucking dog, so whatever, the fucking, the latch down. Supposed to be two of them in the barn, there was only one. So I only got one chain on there, with one come along, or bucking dog, whatever it's called, and I got, I got a tie down strap that's supposed to go over the tires for one of those two car dollies or whatever like it was when I towed this car that's what I had them for so it hooked into the U-Haul trailer on little tie downs like directly over the wheel but there's nothing to tie it down over the wheel here so I just got it strapped around the wheel and tied to the train strapped down to the trailer but it occurred to me coming down that hill boy if one of these things breaks loose 
there's nothing to stop that truck from just besides its parking gear, besides its parking gear because it's got no emergency brake. There's nothing to stop it just coming right through the back of the fucking suburban. <laughs> just right off the trailer, right? How you doing? Just into the back of my fucking head, and the camera will be pointing that way, and y'all wouldn't even sound it. Yeah, if I'm sure if a cop chose to pull me over right now, they could ticket the fuck out of me. I'm positive this is not legal. With my jury rigged lockdown system I got back there. We did it! We did it and I forgot to put the camera on or even turn it around. But that was pretty funny. I really should have had it. Because, you know, y'all kind of saw the way I parked. Well, the fucking building was directly behind me. <laughs> and, uh, I think they sent the dude out there initially because they didn't like the idea of me unhooking it right there in case something were to go wrong and she backs right down the hill because I'm parked on a hill, right? Just backs right down the hill, right through their building, into their fucking counter, kills his fucking wife. I don't think they like that idea. I thought it was a perfect idea. I thought if the truck crashed through the building, then, you know, I don't have to worry about the truck anymore. I got fucking liability, so insurance gonna cover it, Dan's gonna get a new building out of it. And I ain't gotta worry about the fucking truck. Win-win. As long as nobody gets maimed or mutilated maimed or mutilated. Turn all the heaters on in the house because it was chilly words of son of a gun when I left and uh, now I'm just sweating like a pig and I'm gonna get home and it's just gonna be hotter than fucking fuck. I shouldn't cuss. It's gonna be hotter than hot. Okay, bye. Oh, that's kind.